Hi guys, welcome to my podcast. My name is Nicole and I'm the brains and the beauty behind Yarn Craft by Nicole. Today's featured make is the Carta K shawl from Classic City Crochet. It is not currently available, but it will be releasing on March 3rd. And since I won't be releasing a podcast next week, I thought it would make sense to show it to you today. So I really like this shawl. It's a center out design. It's got some very cool stitches in it. Um, and because I was trying not to buy much new yarn in January, I used some things from my stash and I really enjoy the way it looks. So let me show you. You've seen it if you have um, been following this channel for a while. You've seen it when I finished it, but just here's another view of it. So it's really pretty and it wraps really well as a shawl too. Most of the time when I have on a shawl, maybe I'll wear it like this, um, this episode. Most of the time when I'm wearing a shawl, I'm wearing it more like a triangle scarf. But I mean, honestly, this is pretty cute. So maybe I'll just wear it like this. We'll wear this episode so you can see all the colors. So this colorway is called Monet's Garden from Hue Made. And I really like this. Like I could have done the whole shawl in that color. Um, and then the blue is actually more of Hue Made. And then the green is leftover Haynes House yarn from uh, when I made my Confetti DK pullover. And then I bought this pink, um, which I'll have to go back and find the name of that yarn because it was on clearance at my local yarn store. But I really like the way that the colors work together. Um, and I, I think it's just a beautiful shawl. Um, and she is wonderful to test for. Um, this is a pattern test that I was working on for her for a little while. And like I said, the pattern itself releases on March 3rd. So if you like this, it is pretty, pretty beginner friendly. Like the only stitch that might be new is this little berry stitch. And she does a really good job of explaining how to do it. And she is working on like a cardigan that's similar that um, like follows the same stitch pattern. And then she's also been working on this wrap. So if you like this, check out Classic City Crochet on Instagram because she's very talented. I like her a lot. Um, okay, so I've got two major whips that I'm working on this week. And then we're about to go on a road trip. So I'm gonna show you kind of the projects that I'm planning on taking with me for that road trip. So let's see, I'm gonna start with a pattern test I'm currently working on called the Anthea Jumper from Hollywood Word Designs. This is the back panel of it. Um, it's gonna be pretty oversized, um, hip length, and um, has balloon sleeves and I'm really enjoying it. I love this color. It's from Barocco um, and this is their vintage, I think it's just called vintage because it's their worsted weight. But it's got this alpine stitch at the bottom and then it kind of fades in an ombre as you go up the top. And then I'm almost done with the front panel. In fact, I will definitely be finishing this today show it to you. So this is the front panel. It starts the same and then I've just started splitting for the two sides. So I'm really excited about that. It's um, <laughs> it's kind of funny because I've got one worsted weight, this one pattern that I'm working on. Um, this is sweater and then the other one is fingering weight. So it feels like this is flying. <laughs> the other one is, is not flying quite as quickly, but I'm really enjoying both. I think this color is going to be great. I'm really excited to wear it. Um, and I really like Barocco's vintage collection. It's a good budget friendly yarn. I think they're about nine, $9.50 a hank um, at my local yarn store. They come in a lot of really great colors and it's a wool and acrylic blend. So I like it a lot. I've used it for a couple of different projects and they've got it in at least, I think they have it in four or five weights. So there's a, like this is a vintage then they have a vintage Chunky, there's a vintage DK, which I used for the Catalina cardigan that I made a while back. And then I think that there's also a vintage Baby that's a fingering weight. So I really like it, I'm a big fan. The other sweater that I'm working on is my modified Legome sweater. So I'm gonna pull her out. This one goes a lot more slowly, but it makes me happy every time I work on it. So let me show it to you the right way. So this is the front. I have one complete sleeve, which is done. And then I've got some stitch markers over here that are denoting when I'm decreasing for my sleeves. Um, and then I'm adding some more to the body right now. I bought four hanks of yarn to finish this. And I used 
um, one hank when I started the body, one hank for the sleeve, and then I'm finishing that hank here on the body. And then I'll do the third hank on the other sleeve. So we'll see if I even need the fourth, but um, I really like it a lot. It's, it's just fun. And it's now, I mean, now that I have a complete sleeve, it feels like I'm in the home stretch. And it was funny because my husband is great and he cares about what I do and he asks questions when he doesn't understand why I'm doing something. So when I finished the sleeve and then came back to work on the body, he's like, are you not sure if you're going to have enough yarn for the body? Is that why you're doing the sleeves first? And I'm like, meh, kind of. I kind of want to see if I need to go into that fourth skein first. But for me, it also helps because um, sleeves can be kind of boring. Honestly, at this point, the sleeves and the body are kind of boring. So it's like finish one part and then pick up some more in the middle and then finish the other side. I don't know. It makes sense for the way that my brain works. But I really like that the sleeves have the same, I'll kind of show it to you over here, the same faux eye cord that the top has. So I like the way that that feels and I wasn't sure how that was going to work doing it um, top down here, whereas we're, we started with it up here. So I like it a lot. I'm a big fan of this. Um, it's really pretty on. It makes me feel really pretty. I like having all these colors by my face. It's all Hue Loco yarn. Um, it feels awesome and I cannot wait to wear this to Midwest Craft Con, which is coming up the end of March. So not that long from now. I am about to be in the car for a very long time. So I probably will take this project with me. Honestly, the Anthea jumper, I may or may not take it with me because if I work on it today, after I finish the front panel, I just have to make two sleeves. And they, because the, the top has a drop shoulder, the sleeves aren't that long. So I might even finish it before we go. We'll see. Um, but this I will take with me because I know I will not finish this before we go. And I really like it. And it's very pretty. Um, so the other things that I'm going to take with me on this road trip, we are driving at least from Michigan to Virginia, from Virginia to New York and New York back to Michigan. So we're going to be in the car a long time. Um, we might also go to North Carolina. It just depends on if this ice storm is as big of a deal as it looks like it might be tomorrow. So I've got a couple of ideas for things to take with me as I'm going um, on this road trip. The first one is I've got leftover uh, fingering weight yarns. Some of them are from my flat iron shawl, which I liked a lot. So this one, the blue, and then this color are all left over from that. They're such pretty colors together. And then um, this, I'm pretty sure I bought, it was, um, it's from Wonderland. It was part of their D-Stitch Nation maybe two years ago for Australia. And I just thought the colors were really pretty and I've used it and a hat and a headband, but I have a lot left over. Um, but I thought that that played well with these, especially with this color. Oh, that went really well together. And then I've got leftovers from my Shiloh cardigan. Um, and this is We Crochet Hawthorne Kettle Dyed. So all of these colors together, I am going to be making a project for my mom that is similar to what I made for myself with the Scrappy Sport Weight, um, the little Starburst Granny Squares. Um, so this is gonna come with me for that. I should have enough to to make it a decent size. I'm gonna follow the same pattern that I did for those. It's just gonna be smaller because it's finger rates instead of sport. And then probably we'll have this as the border because I think I have the most of this. So we'll see how many I make of that. Um, but that's kind of a fun, small on the go project. And then another project that I'm gonna work on is with these 50 gram, Hanks that I got from Kansas City the last time I was there. I wanted to make these into a gingham cowl and I tried, but these two colors, when they were in the gingham cowl, you honestly could not really see the difference between them very much. So I've decided instead that I'm going to make them into a hoist the colors cowl. And that is from the Crafty Crocheter, I believe is her handle. Um, I'll put it, I'll put it down below. 
Um, she does a lot of Tunisian design and she did this with some minis um, for the Frosted Stitch, which I really like. And so I'm gonna make a version of it with just three colors instead of, I think that version that had minis has five or six different colors. So I think it'll be really pretty and it'll give me a chance to try some Tunisian stitches, which I haven't yet. And I also think that it's gonna let some of the speckles, especially in the, the two lighter colors, shine a little bit more. So happy about that. Those are all um, Goosey Fibers yarns. So I've got that in my little project bag with my Tunisian hook with all of these cute little um, enamel pins from all over the place. One from my first local yarn store that I worked at. I actually designed that logo for them. And then um, one from the local yarn store that I come to here in Michigan Spun. And a little Lizzo juice um, enamel pen because why not? So that is another project. So that's three fingering weight projects so far. And then um, I told you last week that um, with the honeymoon wrap, which I finished, I've, I've written most of the pattern. I'm actually gonna wait and take pictures while we're gone um, in it because it'll be a lot more um, happy and full of sunshine where we're going because it's been pretty dreary here. Um, so I'm gonna take these with me to work on the honeymoon honeymooner cardigan. And I've decided I'm gonna do a bottom up style cardigan because it will be the easiest to grade and to make the most use of this yarn. I'm a little bit afraid if I do a top-down version, which would be very cute, that um, it'll be harder to make sure that I have enough of this to go around. So um, these are both Katya yarns called Genesis. I believe that this is also fingering white. It feels like a fingering white. I would say it's either fingering white or sport. And of course, it doesn't tell me, but looking at the hook size, um, I'm gonna say this is a fingering weight. So I really like this. I think it'll be very pretty and very summery. And then a friend of mine saw these Lexington cashmere gloves, which I'll have shown you before. Um, and she was like, I really like those. I, I would wear a pair of those. So I sent her a bunch of pictures of the yarn that I had in my stash um, to see what she liked best for these. This pattern originally calls for, I believe that it is, it's either worsted or bulky weight yarn. I modified it for the DK weight yarn I wanted to use with it. Um, I showed her a bunch of options. The one, she kind of left it up to me when she narrowed it down to two, but the one that I think will look the coolest is this. Um, this is from Terrapin Fiberworks and it's on her tinsel base. Um, and it's got a little shine to it, but the name of this one is You Look Like Seafood from Moana. And uh, my friend loves that song <laughs> from Moana, Shiny, um, that the crab sings. So I think this will be perfect. And I think that these colors are going to look fantastic in Tunisian. Like, I think that's just going to look really cool. This is a fingering weight, so they will be thinner. But she lives in Georgia, and these are really styled. I mean, these are really going to be for her um, as more of a fashion accessory rather than for warmth. So I think this will work really well. Plus this tinsel is easy to take care for. So I like that a lot. And I think it'll, I think it's gonna be really fun to play with. Um, and I should have some left over to make something for me with it. When I bought this skein, I did not know what I wanted to make with it. So I didn't feel uh, bad offering it to my friend, but who knows, maybe I'll just make two pairs of gloves because I think they're gonna look really cool. So those are the projects that I'm thinking about taking so far. Uh, I probably will also take the yarn that I showed you last week for the baby blanket. I've decided it's gonna be a Tunisian baby blanket with some stripes and that's gonna be perfect. Um, I did not like the corner to corner thing I was doing. I don't think the colors shine their best in that. So decided not to move forward with that. Um, and I haven't bought any more yarn considering all of the fun projects that I have. So, and I haven't finished anything either <laughs> since last week. Um, Cause y'all saw my finished flat iron shawl, which is beautiful. Um, and that, that has been the last thing that I finished. Although the Anthea jumper will probably be finished pretty quickly. So with that, I'm gonna wrap it up with what I can't let go. And I can't let go of the fact that I have a website. 
Um, if you follow me on social media, on Instagram or on Facebook, you saw that my website is officially live. I'm going to put a link down in the description below. Um, Yarncraftbynicole.com. So really easy to find. It's something I've been working on the past, I don't know, three or four weeks. Um, it was a goal I had for this year is to do that. It's got my blog. There's a couple of posts already up there. Um, it's got some of my patterns in the shop section as well as the portfolio section where you can see some of the things that I've made in the past. So I really like it. It feels like me. It's very bright and colorful and happy. Um, so if you are interested in that, go check it out. Um, but I'm really proud of it and I've gotten a lot of good feedback and I'm really proud of the fact that my husband proofread all of the blog posts and like his dad, um, once the site went live was like, Hey, I wonder if this thing can be fixed. So it's been, it's been good to get a lot of positive feedback as well as ways just to make it even better. So I'm really thrilled about that. And, um, I'm looking forward to adding to that over time. It feels like a big step into making yarn craft, uh, more of a career. And so I'm really excited about that. I will not be here next week. Next week we will be traveling, um, as I mentioned before. So there will not be a podcast next week. Um, the following week there should be. I will be doing some more traveling in March than normal. So there'll be some weeks where I'll be able to pop on here and some weeks I won't. Um, but all very exciting things. You can always follow my Instagram if you want to see what I'm up to in the moment. I do update that pretty often. And I'll try to post maybe some vlogs here as well. Um, with that, I'm going to leave you. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you back here on the next couple of weeks. Bye, guys.